you're not alone. If you need someone to talk to today, please contact Crisis Services Canada by either calling them at 1-833-456-4566 all hours of the day, or you can text them at 45645 at 4 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern Time. Remember, you're not alone and Crisis Services Canada is here to help. Hello and welcome to this edition of the Coffee with Graham newscast on ASTV Productions Limited. I'm your host, Graham Forsyth. Today's edition of the newscast is brought to you by Piranata, Fabricland Winkler, and Evolve Green. In today's newscast, I'm going to be taking you guys through some news from amateur sports here in Manitoba. Some news from around the NCAA Men's Frozen Four tournament and later on in the show i'll be telling you guys about some university commitments that have been recently made here in hockey leagues from around north america but sit back relax and enjoy today's edition of the coffee with graham newscast i'm gonna go to the first commercial break in today's show we'll be right back after this word from one of our sponsors why go solar solar is better than ever our revolutionary design and inverter equipment with the latest in solar panel technology for the ultimate in-home and business security. That's right, I said security. Grid security and security of your home are linked. Fortify your future today with a battery backup system. No maintenance, quiet running. Did you know in Manitoba, grid connected off grid and battery backup systems are 100% right off in the year you purchase for any company or farm. Do you want to back up your internet, keep your tills running and the lights on? We can install a system that is right for you with battery backup fully capable of taking on all those essential loads and keeping you running. When you call our experts at Evolve Green, ask about getting your free energy audit today. Call or email today to find out what system works best for you. 1-866-5-EVOLVE or support at evolvegreen.ca. Also, be sure to check out our website at www.evolvegreen.ca. Welcome back to the Coffee with Graham newscast here on ASTV Productions. This first story comes from the Manitoba government and it has to do with if they're going to be allowing exhibition games and if face masks are still going to be mandatory in indoor recreational facilities. Manitoba will still remain in code red as announced in a CBC article on Wednesday, March 24th. The new health order was put into effect on Friday, March 26th. So this means that teams will still not be able to participate in organized team games like exhibition games and Hockey Manitoba took to Twitter to say that teams will still be required to wear face masks while participating in practices and training sessions. Moving into the NCAA Men's Frozen Four tournament now, it was a crazy weekend in the tournament. There were teams that had to withdraw due to COVID-19. There were some huge upsets, and there was also a historic game in the Fargo Regional side of the tournament. Here's a look at the bracket after the first weekend of the tournament. Michigan and Notre Dame were forced to withdraw from the tourney due to COVID-19. The top four seeds in the tournament, North Dakota, Boston College, Minnesota, and Wisconsin all failed to make this year's Final Four. Minnesota Duluth, the back-to-back -back defending champs, took down top-seeded North Dakota in a game that needed a record five overtimes to declare a winner. 
Minnesota Duluth ended up taking that one 3-2 in the fifth overtime. They will take on Massachusetts at 8 p.m. Central Time on Thursday, April 8th, while Minnesota State Mankato will take on St. Cloud State earlier that day at 4 p.m. Central Time. Moving into some soccer news, the Winnipeg Youth Soccer Association announced on their Facebook that the Manitoba Soccer Association has adapted their return to play outdoor protocols to allow training matches up to 11 versus 11 players within your own team program or soccer organizations. The return to play indoor protocols remain unchanged. If you guys want to read the full release, check out the Winnipeg Youth Soccer Association on Facebook. Moving into some junior hockey news, the Stonewall Jets are looking for a GM. This is from a release that was put out by the MMJHL on their website at mmjhl.ca. The Stonewall Jets are looking for a GM for the 2021-2022 season. Stonewall finished in second place with a record of 3-0-1 this season. For anyone interested in taking the position, contact Dale McClintock by phoning 204-791. 7675. If there's any news stories revolving amateur sports that I missed in today's edition of the newscast, you can email me on my email at graham at amateursports.tv. I'll be sure to take a look at the stories that you guys sent me and cover them on next week's edition of the Coffee with Graham newscast. And after this next commercial break, I'll be back on this edition of the newscast to give you guys some announcements of some university commitments that have been made here in North American Hockey Leagues in the past week. You're watching the Coffee with Graham newscast here on ASTV. I'll be back after a word from one of our sponsors. Welcome back to the Coffee with Graham newscast. I'm now going to take you guys through some of the commitments that have been made in terms of university commitments here in North America. And we're going to start off with the female side of things with two commitments that have been recently made here in Manitoba. Savannah Doak, Pilot Mound Buffalo U18 Prep female forward has committed to Assiniboine Community College for the fall of 2021. Doak has played for Pilot Mound's U18 team for three seasons. Savannah will be planning to take business administration during her time at ACC. Doak is 5'2", 138 pounds. During her time with Pilot Mound, she's put up six goals, 14 assists, and 117 games with the Buffalo Cougars. Coach Tony Bertone said that Doak is a hard-working forward that will be an asset to this year's team. Her versatility to play center or the wing is an added bonus to the Cougars. Moving into the MFHL, Westman Wildcats third year senior forward Isabel Hobbs committed to McKendry University for the fall of 2021. McKendry University is located in Lebanon, Illinois. From Deloraine, Manitoba, Hobbs will be looking to complete an undergraduate in biology. The senior forward has put up 10 goals, 11 assists for 21 points in 104 games with the Wildcats in her MFHL career. And it wasn't just females that were making some university commitments recently. In the past week, we saw a number of male hockey players make their commitments to their respective universities goaltender of the Northeast Generals in the NAHL, Hugo Hawes has committed to American International for the 2022-2023 season. Hawes is a goaltender from the Czech Republic. He spent his season last year playing in the J20 Super Elite League in Sweden for the Vekwa Lakers HCJ20 team. In his first year with the Generals, Hawes has played 28 games. He has a save percentage of .920. He has has a goals against average of 3.17 and he has a record of 11 wins, 14 losses, and 3 ties. 
Chippewa Steel defenseman Spencer Cox committed to Long Island University for the 2021-2022 season. Cox started off his season in the USHL where he played for the Omaha Lancers for two games while putting up one goal, zero assists. With Chippewa this season, Cox has played 25 games. He's put up two goals, 12 assists for 14 points along with 53 penalty minutes. And my apologies if I get this last name wrong, but Drew V10 has committed to Niagara University to play Purple Eagles hockey in the fall of 2021 for the 2021-2022 season. V10 is a forward for the Wichita Falls Warriors in the NAHL. He's put up 13 goals, 16 assists for 29 points in 32 games this season with Wichita while having 65 penalty minutes as well. And from the CCHL, left defenseman Kevin Fitzgerald of the Brockville Braves committed to the University of Connecticut to play Huskies hockey in the 2023-2024 season. In his 2019-2020 season with the Greater Kingston Frontenacs U16 AAA team in the ETA HL U16 League, Fitzgerald put up 3 goals, 15 assists for 18 points in 35 games while putting up 22 penalty minutes. Coming up after the final commercial break in this edition of the Coffee with Graham newscast, I'll be back to tell you guys what guests will be joining me in tomorrow's edition of Coffee with Graham as well as some final words here in today's edition of the Coffee with Graham newscast on ASTV Productions. Welcome back to the Coffee with Graham newscast on ASTV. Before I let you guys go, I just want to tell you guys who's going to be on tomorrow's edition of Coffee with Graham. We got three great guests joining us on the show tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Central Time here on ASTV Productions. Number one for the Saskatoon Stars in the Saskatchewan Female U18 AAA Hockey League, Caitlin Cadrain joins me to talk about her career with the Stars as well as her commitment to Maryville University for the fall of 2021. After my interview with Caitlin, I'll be joined by Donna Pawchuk to talk about Box Life Company and how their products have benefits for athletes. And the third guest to join me in tomorrow's show is a returning guest from one of the earliest installments of Coffee with Graham. It's going to be Colton Shindell of Carmen, Manitoba, and Colton is going to join me to talk about his short stint with the Winkler Flyers this year in the MJHL, as well as the trade to the Ottawa Junior Senators, where he's now playing on that team in the CCHL. And that's going to do it for today's edition of the newscast here on Coffee with Graham. Special thanks to our sponsors in Pure and Atta, Fabricland, Winkler, and Evolve Green for sponsoring today's newscast. And a special thanks to you, the viewer, for tuning in to today's episode of Coffee with Graham. I'll be back on the network tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Central Time. You can catch the episode on ASTV Productions on Facebook or on our website at astvproductions.com. But until tomorrow, folks, I've been your host. Graham Forsyth signing off now. Have a good one. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there. And until tomorrow, I'll see you later.